The Cup in the Forest Per and his girlfriend, Nina, live in a big town in Norway. They are on holiday in the country. They are driving on a road near a big forest. It's beautiful here, Per says. Let's stop the car and walk in the forest. But the forest is very dark and quiet. I don't like this place, Nina says. I'm cold. Let's go back to the car. Suddenly, Pear falls over a tree. Are you okay? Nina asks. Yes, Pear answers. Then he sees some old stones. These are very strange stones, he says. He moves them with his hands. They are very heavy. There's a hole under the stones, he says. He puts his hand into the hole. Be careful, Nina says. Perhaps an animal lives in there. Pear takes his hand from the hole. He has an old cup in his hand. Look at this old cup, Nina, he says. It's very interesting. But why is it here? And look, there are some strange words on it. Nina looks at the cup too. It's beautiful, she says. She looks again. And very expensive, she thinks. The forest is very dark and cold. Let's go now, Nina says. I don't like this forest. They walk back to their car. Suddenly, Pear stops. What is it? Nina asks. Pear looks into the trees. There's a man there, he says. Nina looks too. I can't see a man, she says. Pear looks again. You're right, he says. It's only a tree. Pear and Nina drive to a small town. It's getting dark, Pear says. Let's stay in this town. They find a small hotel. The people are very friendly. I like this hotel, Nina says. Let's stay here. Near the hotel is a museum. We can take the cup to the museum in the morning, Pear says. We can ask the curator about it. Later, Pear can't sleep. He goes to the window of his room and looks into the hotel garden. A strange man is standing there. He doesn't move. Who are you? Pear calls. What do you want? Then Nina comes into the room. There's a strange man in the garden, Pear says. What man? Nina asks. I can't see a man. In the morning, Pear and Nina take the cup to the museum. The museum curator is an old man. Do you know about this cup? Pear asks. The curator looks at the cup for a long time. Where is it from? He asks. From a hole under some old stones in the forest, Pear says. Take the cup back to the forest. Now, the curator says. But why? Pear asks. Do you see the old words on the cup? The curator asks. They say, this cup belongs to Hakon. Be careful. Who is Harkon? Pear asks. Harkon 
is an old Viking name, the curator says. There are some Viking graves in the forest. This cup is from Harkon's grave. Take it back there. Now. Per and Nina are drinking coffee in the hotel. Let's take the cup back to the forest, Per says. Are you crazy? Nina says. Why do you listen to the old man's stories? Harkon is only a dead Viking. Yes, Per says, but I'm afraid. The cup belongs to him. Suddenly, Per sees the strange man across the room. Look, he says, Harkon is here. He's in this cafe. Per runs across the room, but Harkon isn't there. Then Per goes back to the table. But Nina isn't there. And the bag with the cup isn't there. He runs to the door of the hotel. He sees Nina in the car. She is driving away from the hotel very fast. Stop, Nina, Per calls. Where are you going? But Nina doesn't stop. She is driving away with the cup. Nina drives away from the town. She is driving fast, very fast. But she isn't afraid. She is thinking about money. Money is important to Nina. The cup is in a bag near her. Nina looks at it and smiles. Pear is crazy, she thinks. He's afraid of old stories about dead Vikings. But the cup belongs to me now. I'm taking it to Oslo. I can sell it there. Pear runs to the museum and finds the old curator. Where's the cup? the curator asks. My girlfriend has it now, Pear answers. That's bad, the curator says. The cup belongs to Harkon. But Harkon is dead, Pear says. Yes, the curator says, but there are strange stories about Viking ghosts. Take my car and go after your girlfriend. Nina drives for a long time. It is getting dark. There are no cars on the road. She can't see any towns or houses or people. Only forests. Dark, black forests. But Nina thinks about money again, and she is happy. Now it is raining. Suddenly, Nina sees a strange man. He is standing on the road. He is looking at Nina. His face is dark and angry. Nina screams and screams. She is very afraid. She can't stop the car and she can't see the road. She only sees the man's angry face. His eyes are cold and strange. They are the eyes of a dead man. The car leaves the road and hits a tree. Then it falls into a river. The water closes over the car. It is very quiet. The car, Nina, and the cup are in the river. Later, the police come and take the car from the river. A policeman looks into the car. There's a girl in here, he says. She's dead. Pear is there too. He is very unhappy about Nina. Suddenly, he sees a man. The man is walking into the forest. The ghost of Harkon, Pear thinks. He is very afraid. But Harkon is walking away now. He has his cup.